another recipe I like to make um, is called King Ranch Chicken Soup. I've made this two or three times. You can make it either in a slow cooker, it takes four to six hours, or you can make it in an instant pot, it takes about, and the cook time's 10 minutes, it takes a little bit of time to prepare it, so less than 30 minutes if you make it in an instant pot. Um, it basically takes one full stick of butter, uh, two large cloves of garlic, or one half to one teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm out of cloves of garlic. Or I could have gone out to the garden to get some, but I'm just going to use powdered. It also takes half cup of flour. And it takes four cups of chicken stock or broth or whatever you want to use. Then you are going to need... Over here I've got um, four teaspoons of chili powder. One teaspoon of cumin. One teaspoon, another teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper. Two to four pounds of chicken. That's generally two to four chicken breast. Um, a can of tomatoes that have chilies in it, or you can make your own. Diced tomatoes with chili peppers. Um... You can use like a fresh jalapeno pepper to spice it up, make it a little bit spicier. I'm going to use cayenne red pepper. I might actually use red pepper flakes. And you also need cheddar cheese and tortilla chips. Now I like a little bit more chicken. The recipe actually only calls for about one and a half to two pounds of chicken. I made it that way. It kind of seemed a little light on the chicken. I've kind of increased it. I am now probably, you know, in the two to three and a half pound range of chicken. It's actually four chicken breasts. So that's what I use. Basically, you're going to turn your instant pot on saute. It sounds like that's something I do every time I cook. You're going to then put your butter in, wait on it to melt. I always forget to hit the start button after I hit saute and then I wonder why it's not working. Saute start. Alright, we're going to wait on that to melt. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do the four teaspoons of garlic powder. I like garlic. I think I originally said the recipe called for like one quarter to a half a teaspoon and I'm doing four teaspoons. Next we're going to stir this up. Make sure it gets mixed up. This is what we look like now. Put this flour in there. So we're going to add the flour after I shut off the Instant Pot. I'm going to get that mixed up. It's going to form a really thick paste. Just like that. Then you're going to add your chicken broth. And you're going to mix this up with it back on saute. Until it all integrates. So after a few minutes, what's going to happen is with this on saute, this will start to thicken up like a sauce. Usually what I do as soon as I see it starting to boil is when I shut it off. Starting to see bubbles now. So I'm going to give us a stir and shut this off and then I'll show you what we do next. Is you're going to add your four teaspoons of chili powder. There's one. Two. 
three, four. Then you're going to do one teaspoon of ground cumin. Then you're going to do one teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper or red pepper flakes or whatever you want to do. I'm going to just do cayenne pepper. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper. I just estimated that teaspoon, which is what I usually do. <laughs> one teaspoon of pepper. Then we're going to give this a stir. Make sure this is all stirred up pretty good. Of course, it's going to get onto the sides. You'll have to scrape it off the sides. I think I'm going to whisk that. So, I just took and whisked it because basically everything was kind of in there. Not breaking up too well where my sauce got a little too thick. So, the next thing you do is you put your chicken in there. Excuse me for having to reach across there. I'll go ahead and put the chicken in. And let me show you what this looks like. So I just stuck the chicken in there. Alright, so next you're going to take your can of diced tomatoes with chili in it and you're going to just kind of like sprinkle it in there try to get it on top of the chicken don't have to be exact kind of what i did next you're going to put the lid on pressure cook 10 minutes pressure cook 10 minutes all right so the cheddar and the tortilla chips sit tight we're going to use those in a minute when the timer actually stops on the instant pot wait till it says it'll be lo10 i still have seven more minutes don't get in a hurry to release the pressure or the chicken will be uh tough just go ahead and show you i am past the uh 10 minute mark now so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the top off, do the pressure release. I'm going to leave it on keep warm, so I'm not going to hit cancel. Now the next thing you're going to do is you've got to pull the chicken out. And I've got a cutting board set over here. So you're going to pull the chicken out, put it on a cutting board. You're now going to add two cups of cheddar cheese. Now, it ain't got to be exactly two cups. This is a four cup bag of cheddar cheese. I'm going to dump half of it in there. I'm not even going to measure it. You want to save some, so that's why I got four cups. I'm basically going to guess what two cups is. I'm going to squeeze it with my fingers and dump half of it in. Something like that. We're going to give that a stir. Then we're going to use a fork to break the chicken up into chunks. So chicken on the cutting board, you're going to take two forks and basically just you're going to shred it just like this. 
as you're shredding it, just put the chicken back in. You want the chunks to be pretty good, pretty good size. They ain't got to be too small. You don't want them too small. You don't want them too big. Alright, so what you want to do to serve this, you're going to take tortilla chips now and put in the bottom of your bowl. I'm going to actually crunch these up. I don't like them that big. A few tortillas. Next, you're going to take your soup that you just made, put it over top of it, and add a little bit of cheddar cheese on top of this. And then you could also go ahead and garnish it with cilantro or something like that. So there you go. That's how you make it. And uh, I appreciate you watching. As always, uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like this video. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Thank you.